All right, he's Mega here, and welcome to Project Redshift. All right, um, so there it is. This is my stock 2018 Alta Redshift SM. All right, the Super Moto model, and uh, and then so I'm gonna start a series of vlogs about me uh, working on the bike. So Hades Mega's gotta try to get this bike up to like a track day spec or a race spec. All right, <laughs> um, my Hades Mega plans to drive it on, ride it on the streets. And, uh, and race it at the racetrack. So it's gonna be kind of like a double, well, kind of, it kind of has a double duty. Um, Hayes Meg is not really planning to ride it off-road, but however, we probably will take it to the off-road park and see how it does in the dirt, all right? I've never ridden a Supermoto, a, a uh, Alta Redshift Supermoto in the dirt. I've ridden the dirt bike one, all right? And I'd imagine, I don't know, um, it might be interesting because it's got so much freaking power and street tires, okay? It's probably slipping and sliding all over the place, man. Uh, well, we'll do some light trail riding is what we'll do. All right? I, I don't want to bash up these nice uh, supermoto wheels in the dirt, all right? Um, but anyway, so what I got going on today is uh, I'm going to try to address the rust issues on this bike, all right? All right, so what I got going on today is uh, I'm going to address some of the rust issues on my Redshift, all right? Um, so... This bike was, uh, I bought it from the previous owner who lived in Santa Cruz, all right? Let's check it out. So um, there's a lot of rust on the bike. And yeah, a lot of, there's rust in like places that, you know, it's just kind of, you wouldn't think would rust so much type of thing, all right? Um, a lot of my bikes don't have a lot of rust on it, all right? <laughs> Look at my KLR, not too, well, actually, yeah, I guess it's in this, it's, there, all the rust is kind of like in the same place. But it, it's very noticeable on this bike because it's very beautiful, all right? It's still, it's still a pretty new bike is what I want to say. It's only like five years old, all right? Um, so I've got a couple places with rust. The, okay, the first one I will be addressing is the nut for the tube, all right? <laughs> so I, I was a... Uh, so this is the first thing I'm gonna fix is this thing, all right? The valve cap, all right, is broken. So that's gonna go in the garbage, all right? And we're gonna put a new one, all right? And then this, uh, the valve nut, oh, it's already loose too, by the way, so I guess we can. These are supposed to be hand tight anyways, guys. So um, on a Supermoto with street tires, I would say it's okay to tighten it, all right, with the wrench. So maybe we'll snug it a little bit. But there it is, it's already loose and it's all rusty. So we're gonna remove this and replace it with one that's not rusty, okay? I've got, so whenever I change tubes or whatever, I col I collect these, all right? Any, any part I can salvage off of the tube, I take it, all right? So, and here it is, this is my collection of stuff. So I'm gonna pick the prettiest looking one. How about mm, this one right here, it looks pretty shiny. Okay, we'll put this guy on. All right, now it looks not rusted, all right? <laughs> and I'm gonna, I was gonna check the tire pressure. That's the reason why I took the valve cap off. All right, and then we're going to put a, put a new valve cap cover. Let's go with, uh, let's just go with one of these little guys. How about this one here? It's still black. I do have like a shiny one right here. Maybe we'll put one of those later. But I think black would go good on with the black wheel, right? So I'm just going to use a plain old plastic one. Oh, actually, wait, before that, let's tighten it a little bit. Okay, it's a 12 millimeter. I work with these a whole lot, so I know. Just snug it a little bit. Okay, it's going to come out. Like I said, for super motos, it's okay because we run a lot of tire pressure. You're not the valve isn't gonna walk okay oh yeah I gotta put tire pressure in it okay anyway there it is all right so I'm gonna go put I'm gonna go inflate it to 32 psi after this video but there it is so now it's a uh, nice looking again all right cool okay so for the back we're gonna do the same thing all right so here's the one from the front it's all rusty as you can see okay so here's the one from the front it's all rusty as you can see all right and then so here's the one on the back and it's not as rusted as the front, but it's still pretty rusty, okay? And the cap is still good, actually, so let's take this cap off just to make it the same. I don't know, should we just put this one back on? Yeah, just to make it the same, let's put the... Let's put this back. We'll grab one of these. I think it's like kind of like a long one, right? Let's go with this one here. This looks like the same. Okay, grab one of these. I'm gonna grab one of these guys. All right, so the other ones are kind of rusty. Okay. All right. 
might be loose already. Yep, oh, it is. Let's take it out. The new one on. The newer one. Okay, let's snug it up. Okay, let's snug it up a few turns. on this one seems like it's a lot taller than the front one maybe the front one has a new tube in it already okay uh -huh. and then so there's our two rusty nuts I'll just put it back in here add it to the collection I'll go throw this guy away since it's broken and there you go. So that's the first uh, bit of uh, rust uh, fixing uh, that I've done. Okay, rust repair. All right, not too. It's not too bad. Um, so the rest of the stuff probably not going to be that easy. We're going to have to get like a Scotch Brite pad or a wire a wire brush or something and brush the the rust stuff. All right. Hopefully it's it's just surface rust and hasn't eaten through much stuff. Um, it does look like it's just surface rust. So. All right, hey, Hades Omega here, and so I'm shooting a, a Alta Redshift Supermoto video, all right, uh, on the Redshift SM39 here, okay? So uh, uh, when I got this bike, uh, the previous owner lived in uh, Santa Cruz, all right? So this is a Santa Cruz bike, and if you guys don't know where Santa Cruz is, it's by the ocean, all right? So... Uh, one of the problems of buying bikes and cars and automobiles and all that stuff from near the ocean is that they got like sea sea water or sea breeze there and stuff rusts okay so there's a couple things rusting on this bike and we're going to take care of it today all right i took some pictures of it i've already started cleaning some of it up all right so stuff that you wouldn't think would be rusting you know it rusts so there was rust on this brake lever here Okay, there was rust on this brake lever here, but it's all gone now, all right? I, you can see some pitting in the adjuster here, all right? But uh, I cleaned most of it off, all right? I cleaned it with a Dremel um, wire brush, all right? And that's probably how I'm going to clean the rest of this, all right? Um, yeah, so this is kind of like my vlog into uh, getting a, get, doing some work on this bike after I took ownership of it, all right? So fix, do some quick fixes, all right? Um, so another thing that's rusted is the bolts, the pinch bolts for the uh, the forks, okay? So as you can see there's rust here. I've already started cleaning it, like I said, but I have pictures of what they look like before. I'll probably clean it a little bit more. I don't think I cleaned this one here, okay? Um, the rotor's rusted. Mm, we can probably clean the bolts, and yeah, I guess we can clean some of this surface rust off. All right, where else? Oh well, yeah, see some of these brackets are starting to rust and stuff too. Um, maybe we can spray some rust converter on it. Okay, so the mirrors are rusting, uh, but I'm planning to uh, to just ditch these mirrors. All right, we're gonna we're not gonna use these mirrors anymore. I'm gonna install some handguard mirrors. When I get some handguards for this. This uh, the screw is rusted. All right, no bueno. Um, what else? I think that's it. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. And another place that has uh, um, rust is the foot pegs. All right. So the foot peg mounts are rusted, and the foot pegs themselves are actually starting to rust. Um, I will be replacing these foot pegs, so I'm not too. I'm probably not going to clean these. Maybe I'll clean it when I take it off. All right. But yeah, there's some rust out here. It's probably from debris hitting this thing and the the finish coming off. Um, but yeah, we'll we'll have to hit up the. Uh, the foot peg mounts all right maybe maybe we can take it off all right there's some rust here you can see there's some rust on the spring here we'll see if we can um i'm probably not too worried about that but yeah we'll we'll clean off the surface rust here hopefully it won't come back all right 
Hayes Mega plans to keep this indoors as much as possible. The spring looks in pretty good condition though. Um, what else is rusting? Um, it looks like there's some kind of like oxidization forming on the swing arm, but that's not hard to clean um, because you can literally wipe it off. See, there's some white stuff that comes off. So if I just wash the swing arm, all that oxidization will come off. All right, but yeah, that just tells you that, you know, the sea breeze is no good <laughs> for the bike, man. Um, I, I didn't clean the chain. Chain is good. All right, you can see they've been, they've been taking good care of the chain. Um, I believe I believe it is a uh, I checked the chain tension yet uh, the other night and I think all I did was lube it but I checked the chain tension and it's like at the maximum limit so I'm probably gonna have to adjust it sometime soon the the adjuster bolts for the uh, for the rear uh, the rear axle adjuster all right or, or the rear chain adjuster is rusted okay so we'll, I'll try to clean some of that much as I can same story with this side okay okay and then here's this foot peg all right this foot peg is starting to uh, have some surface rust here all right and uh, I think that's it yeah. uh, also these I don't know what this is and this is like a, a pivot pin or something <laughs> that's what it looks like for the for the uh, so it's the battery guard or, or frame stiffener is rusting right here also but I've already cleaned some of it off all right so, okay, so yeah this one is starting to rust also so I will clean that off all right and I think that's it it's not too bad it's just some stuff some surface stuff there's a lot of aluminum on this bike is what I'm gonna say so a lot not a lot of it is gonna start rusting right? I just don't want to see that stuff on there and it look it doesn't look like it's too bad yet okay so for, I've this bike is like about five years old now and um, and that's I don't think that's stuff that you would typically see on a bike unless you kept it outdoors but it looks like the previous owner took pretty good care of it it's just it was in Santa Cruz <laughs> okay also this uh, little clip here is resting right the um, the clamp here so I might hit that up a little bit also or we'll, we'll put some uh, rust uh, rust converter on it all right Cool. All right. So uh, yeah, I'm going to go work on that and then uh, you guys can see what the uh, final results are. All right. Uh, okay. So what I'm planning to use to clean the rust off is a Dremel die grinder tool with a wire wheel. Okay. That's what it looks like. Um, also, I've got, uh, I've got some of uh, this rust converter stuff here. So we can just spray that on there or you I have the paint on stuff I have the brush on and the spray on okay so and, and that what that does is it converts the rust to like a, a sandable primer so it doesn't um so it doesn't rust anymore all right hey he's making here it's been a couple days since I shot the uh, the rust uh, repair video all right and uh, and these are the fruits of my labor so let's check out the results all right so like I said I ran the uh, the wire brush through it first to get the surface rust off and then I painted it with some uh, um, rust converter. All right, this is what I used. All right, it's a Loctite Extend Rust Neutralizer. I have the spray-on version and I have the brush-on one, but I brushed it on, right? So I wouldn't make a big mess. <laughs> so it pretty much turned everything, it dyed everything black almost, all right? So whatever, whatever little piece of rust there was, it turned it black, all right? If you remember correctly, these were like silver before, right? kind of the same almost the same color as aluminum yeah they're it turned into like a black kind of purplish color like the blood on my fingernail you see <laughs> that's an interesting story right there by the way um, yeah so and then I took one of those um, the the wire brush bits all right and I uh, the, the ones that the really s small one and I stuck it in there right, for the torx areas okay well, there it is that's how the uh, that's how the bolts turned out I think they turned out pretty good. All right, the, the, we'll just, it's good to know that it won't be rusting. Honestly, I think without the rust converter, I think it would have been fine. Okay, so <laughs> probably didn't have to do it. All right, another place there was rust is right here on the little guard on the side here. Yeah, okay, I put a little bit there. You can see it stained the most where the pitting was, all right? So it's working. We'll just keep it from rusting again, all right? Here's the other side. Right, there's the other side. 
so you can see you can definitely see where it was rusted before it's like kind of a black color all right and it kind of dyed everything a little bit purple sort of okay another place there was rust is the uh the foot peg brackets all right i'm going to be replacing these foot pegs so i didn't even bother with the foot pegs i can probably clean the foot pegs easier with them off the bike when i take them off okay but yeah there it is okay it turned it into like a purple color now if i could probably get some new foot peg brackets or if we can just take this off and paint it would be great okay, one right. more look at the uh foot peg bracket here so there it is you can still see there's still some rust it didn't get all of it <laughs> oh well yeah there's still some down here maybe i might want to add a little bit maybe get like a, a toothpick or something and just put some right there all right but you can look at the difference between the rusty spots and the, the rust converter part okay so we kind of dyed it like a purple color all right because um, these are steel so Kind of, it kind of stained the paint or whatever whatever coating they had on there. Um, all right, and then here is another spot, spot that was some rust, so I just kind of threw some in there. Okay, I think that's it. Oh yeah, there's there's one more. Um, there's the uh, right here, the chain adjusters. Okay, the chain adjusters had some rust on it. I got I, I managed to get a good chunk of it off with the wire brush, and then I just brushed on that rust converter. Okay turned into like a kind of purpley camouflage color <laughs> that's just it's fine whatever you're going to be putting a wrench to it anyways it's gonna it's gonna take the finish off anyways so yeah there's the other side okay and yeah i think that's it uh, oh the and then the on the and then the spring the rear spring so i did sprinkle some on there it doesn't look like it did too good a job on this so yeah i, I try to put it where the paint is like coming off i'm not gonna worry about the the spring too much okay the spring is one of those things that will but it's, it's just odd that like it would be like that you know so yeah you can see it's a little purple here where the white paint is okay okay and there it is that is the little rust repair vlog for my alta redshift uh, my 2018 alta redshift sm all right number 39 um I've, I've fixed all the little sur uh, surface rust, all right? So it's uh, looking good, all right? So uh, I probably I probably could have just stopped at just wire brushing that stuff off because I live in San Jose and I don't have to worry about the rust problem like, uh, like you do in Santa Cruz. But, but yeah, looking good. All right, here's my gap.